All right, today we're going to do an unboxing of the uh, SmartThings Hub. This is version two, and which was originally came out by uh, SmartThings. They were bought it by Samsung. So version two has a Samsung name on it. The one major difference between this hub and the version one hub is that this will do everything without going through their cloud. The previous one, you had to go through the cloud. So if you lost internet connectivity, or you were not able to get to their cloud, um, it was um, it, it didn't work. And, and I believe you had to give them the Wi-Fi password as well. With this one, you don't. Uh, the only thing is with this one, I need to figure out how the heck to open the box, I guess. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. All right. So this is a device. Um, it comes with, uh, I believe you can add your own batteries to it so that it's, um, it'll work when there's no power, but you definitely need internet, uh, for, um, you know, for other cloud, uh, to come in from the internet. But if you're inside the house, as long as you have uh, power to it, you can control other devices, but then other devices also need power. So it's kind of useless, I guess. Um, okay. So, yep, yeah, so it does work with its own batteries. It needs four batteries that it comes with, power and network cable. Um, so very straightforward unboxing, I guess. Uh, really not much here. Uh, well, let's look. Let's look what's inside the instructions, which you won't need. Hopefully, it should just be plug and play. Okay, let's look at the quick start card, I guess. Be helpful. Uh, down, download the app. Uh, you can control a bunch of things. Um, why I went with this one, I guess, from the Z-Wave USB stick, which is what I had before, is that this obviously supports other um, it supports other uh, protocols apart from Z-Wave, which is Zigbee. Plus, it also supports internet-based, IP-based devices like some garage door openers are IP-based, so you can control that. And you know, with the Z-Wave. Um, there was really no software other than, you know, if you had to go buy uh, some software for it. Uh, so I wasn't too crazy about that, um, you know, buying software. And um, so this was, uh, how much does this cost? This is like $99, although with, there's some discounts and you can get it for like 79 which is what I did from Smart Things. And, you know, maybe by the time you watch this video, it, may have, it might have gone cheaper. Um, but yeah, this is it in a nutshell. Um, again, this is a SmartThings 2.0. I'll plug it in and get it connected and uh, we'll see how the software looks. I also have to uh, install the app on this. So, um, here we go. we'll give it a try. A nice closure. I think it's like magnet. Holy crap. This whole thing is magnetic. It's like an iBox. I mean, an iPad smart cover. This thing is really magnetic. I never realized that. No, Got to give them points for the box. Anyway, um, look from a video on getting it connected. I don't know why I'm even putting it back in the box. I don't want to use it. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.